Well, you know, we went into this this contest after a few disappointing uh, losses, and uh, I thought the kids practiced great all week long on Sunday, uh, um, Sunday through uh, Thursday through our preparations. Uh, they did a fabulous job. They were physical. Uh, wanted to make it into a – told our kids it's going to be a physical game because they are. They're a physical football team. You know, it's, it's kind of a trademark of their deal. Uh, I was really happy the way we ran the ball. I think there was a lot of people out there who said we couldn't run it. Um, but we did, uh, and I thought that uh, with some of our deals that we did, uh, kind of open up some passing game um, and uh, try to uh, try to get them in some coverage by motioning and shifts and stuff like that, and it worked. So we were fortunate there. Defensively, uh, really, they sh uh, the one the one touchdown was kind of a gift off a penalty, and the other one uh, we dropped an intercept. But if we take away those two, I don't I don't know if they score, uh, and uh, so. Uh, you know, it was really a great win. I mean, I, I'm really proud of our kids. I was proud of the way they went out there and they played. Um, they played hard. They stuck through it. I thought the key point was when they scored, um, uh, I think it was 1913, and uh, the crowd was, was, pretty, uh, was pretty loud. And uh, there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of momentum on their side. And we went down there and took the ball and drove right down and scored. It was a great catch by Jamarco. And, uh, just another great catch by uh, Anthony Middleton. So uh, it was great. It was good for our guys. I think it's you know it kind of solidified what we we're talking about the whole. For the you know there's no other way to work. And uh, if you lose you know like we've lost all those close games, you just got to keep working harder. And uh, and our kids did. And uh, in, in respect, okay, this is what happened. I think it's just a real other example when you make good decisions, when you don't turn the ball over. Uh, and you do those little things, you win. And uh, we're good enough to, to win. We, we, we've been beating ourselves by uh, some of the things we're doing. And, uh, you know, hopefully this is a valuable lesson on our part uh, with our football team because uh, we had no turnovers. We took no sacks. And uh, our decision-making process was, was pretty good. I don't think they were that complex defensively, uh, but still that's a major improvement. The, the, the key about Brandon for us is yeah, it gives linebackers matchup problems on the on the pass routes, and and he is a good pass protector. So, you know, those things are kind of lost in there. And like this game here, he had nine catches. Well, a lot of those are, you know, let's spread the field around a lot and isolate him on a backer and let him run a, a little route off the backer, and all you got to do is dump the ball off to him. And uh, and really, we had him another time for a touchdown, and we missed him. Uh, and then the pass protector. But if he wasn't good pass protector, you couldn't put him back there to, to run those routes. You know, so you know that's that's key. But he takes a lot of shots out there. Uh, you know, that's nine catches, um, 30, 30 rushes, and then he uh, what do you have four kickoffs? So it's forty three times he's he's carrying the ball. And at the end of the game, when we need all those tough yards, I mean, I, I saw some hits. Uh, they, they were pretty <laughs> some nasty hits on the sideline, and he. To his credit, he stayed in bounds and knew he was going to get hit all right, because he wanted to keep the clock running. And I, to me, that, that told me a whole lot. Uh, that happened twice. And uh, where he could have run out of bounds, stopped the clock, but it wasn't good for the team. But he stayed in there. And the one time he stayed in there, it was right in front of me. He got hit by about four guys and just got up and, you know, let me go get the ball again. So uh, he's come, a, you know, light years uh, from where – where he was last year, and he's an exciting guy. He makes people miss, um, and uh, but the, you know it still goes back all the little things that a lot of people don't see. If he couldn't pass protect, he could, he could he can't help us because he can't get out there on routes. And then when you get him on the routes, it's so easy for the quarterback because all he's got to do is just dump him the ball. And uh, you know nine catches that's that's a lot of catches for a back. Well, uh, to me, you know, the guy, uh, you know, we, we got to finish it off. We only got one week. And, uh, and I think uh, I, I saw, even last night, I see a little bounce in her step. They feel good about themselves. And it's just like, you know, like I tell them, it's just in life, you know, you're not going to get everything you want. But if you, all I know is if you quit, you don't get anything. And if you just keep on working, 
And uh, this game's huge for us. I mean, it really, it really is. I mean, we got to go into this thing. And um, first of all, defense, we have the best defense in the league. And, uh, and it shows, sir. Um, we've had some guys on our staff. Bob Stanley is coached there. Um, uh, Bill Miller has gone, gone against them uh, when they were in the Big East. I've, I've played against them. And this is the best defense I've seen, even when they're Big East days. Uh, they're, they're highly athletic. Uh, they do a lot of different things. And uh, so I think they got their attention there. And then uh, offensively, they're, they're moving the ball a little bit more. Uh, you know, they had some troubles early. They got the quarterback hurt, and now all of a sudden, you know, this guy Charles. But he's got a, he's got a pretty live arm. I remember playing last year against him. So, uh, you know, I th I, our guys want to finish it off. And I think the last game is always, you know, a, a big game because you want to go in your off season, all right, with a little bit of a, you know, it's a positive uh, frame of mind. And, uh, you know, I think we all sit there and say, you know, there's four games. Going to the game, you know, I was telling some people, we were seven and three at that point last year, and we're going down to Florida State and almost pulled that off. This year we're three and seven, and the only difference is we won the, the tough ones, or the close ones last year, and we didn't win them this year. And uh, you know, some, uh, you know, a lot of it has to do with some experience, and uh, that's the only difference. I mean, you know, yeah, we, and, you know, of course, you know, when you play two of the top four BCS schools, uh, you know, that kind of, that kind of, uh, we didn't have that tight deal last year. Uh, but I think our confidence is going in there. I see defensively buying in the system, understanding the system, getting better. And then uh, offensively, I mean, the, the, the receivers and the tight ends, I mean, we got a lot of weapons. I mean, there's, there's guys out there with Jamarco and Anthony Middleton now, and there's Brandon Ledbetter and Brandon West and, her, and Herb Martin. Uh, there, there's a lot of guys running around there doing some really good things. And, uh, you know, all, if we just continue our uh, decision-making process this week, well, hopefully it'll carry into the spring and, and summer and next year.